Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the latest 4K review from us here at Flick Direct. And for today's 4K review, I am very excited to be talking about this one. I'm here to talk to you all about one of the greatest, but also the most controversial horror films ever made, and that is Texas Chainsaw Massacre. And not only a really cool subcover, but there's also a awesome steel book. I mean, both things look great. Now, before I continue on, just to show you guys what's inside, in particular the steel book. There's not much of a difference when in terms of I couldn't show the front of the freaking slipcover, but you guys get my point. The disc image is the exact same. However, what's in this, just to show you what this exactly is, this is awesome. And by the way, it's double-sided, holy crap. This is in the Steelbook version, by the way. Now I know the slipcover, so if you want to get the double-sided poster, get the Steelbook edition, because the Steelbook is freaking awesome. How cool is this poster? Just spat over my camera. When it comes to my top 20, or even my top 15 favorite horror films of all time, The Dishes Chainsaw Massacre is easily within my top 15 favorite horror films. I'll never forget, the first time I saw this film, I think it was in 2013, and it scared the crap out of me. There is a particular scene in this movie that legitimately almost made me scream. In case if you guys have not seen The Texas Chainsaw Massacre, The Texas Chainsaw Massacre was one of the earlier slasher films alongside the original Halloween film, Black Christmas Lake. Those three films were essentially the, if you want to say, besides also Psycho, the pioneers of the slasher genre. We follow five friends as they go to, well, Texas to visit a family grave. However, when this group of five friends picks up a rather odd stranger, and let's just say things happen, soon after them dropping off the stranger, they soon come across and face some very, I mean very, dire fates. If you guys are expecting a full-on, gory, bloody ride of a film, that is not what this film is all about. The Texas Chainsaw Massacre, more than anything else, is a salt, assault, an assault on the senses type of film. There are certain images within this film that I remember when I first saw it back 10 years ago, that still stay with me to this day. The ending shot of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre is still to this day one of the most talked about endings. Not just the sequences that follow with the ending, but the actual final shot of Gunnar Hansen just throwing around that chainsaw in anger and the sound effects, which I'll get into later on. Getting into the audio and video quality, starting off with the video quality, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre in 4K is presented on an aspect ratio of 185.1, and here is what I can say about the video transfer to 4K. There are certain things that you have to do when you're transferring a movie that is shot almost like a documentary when transferred to 4K, because here is the thing. In certain aspects of the 4K transfer, there are some spots where the film looks absolutely fantastic. But there are a couple of sequences, especially it takes place in the outdoors, the HDR grade, especially shots where it looks directly at the cloud. The color grading at times does seem a little overpowering. And there were some spots where the coloring just again seemed like it was a bit too much for me per se. There are a couple of scenes that take place in the darkness, especially where Sally is wheelchairing Franklin before let's just say something happens. There's a couple of shots where I am not gonna lie to you guys. It's a little hard to see. Nonetheless though, what we still have here is a very good looking film and there were spots where it looked clear as can day, but still like I mentioned to you guys earlier, have the experience of watching this film like it was still made in the same ways but brought to the modern audience. In particular, the final 20 minutes of this movie looked incredible. Like for example, the final shot of this film, it looked just as terrifying as it did when I first saw it for the first time 10 years ago. And the HDR grid, when you see that sunrise right behind Gunnar Hansen as he's flinging around that chainsaw, I legitimately got goosebumps, like it looked that good. Going on to the audio quality, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre is a Dolby Atmos track, and just what you guys know, 
there are options to watch this film with a 2.0 track and even a mono track in case if you want to watch this film with a high definition clarity with the old feeling of a 1.0 and 2.0 mono track. That was a great addition and I am very, very happy that this release decided to include them. But anyways, I have no issues. I mean, the audio quality is fan fantastic in the film there are certain spots with the audio quality where it feels like where you're almost like a fly on the wall listen to conversations while the film doesn't really have a score per se even though there is one little track that does play throughout the film which gives such an ominous vibe throughout the entire thing the Tasha chainsaw mask or more than anything else is a film that relies on the ambiance the dialogue and the overall atmosphere in the film. The Dolby Atmos track is able to just amplify the ambiance of the film so well. In particular, the first time you see Leatherface and when he slams that door after that first kill, again to say that I got chills is an understatement. Seeing the final shot of this movie and seeing Gunnar Hansen fling around the chainsaw and hearing that saw going all around the Dolby Amos channels. I never thought I would hear that on a Dolby Amos track. And once again, the chills and the goosebumps I felt watching this whole segment was unbelievable. Dialogue is crystal clear. The ambiance is absolutely terrific. The Dolby Amos track here is absolutely incredible. And it's definitely the way to experience this movie when it comes to that audio track. Finally, moving on to the special features, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre's 4K release. Well, the 4K release has four new commentaries. Yes, four commentaries. The Blu-ray disc, however, comes with so much stuff. Not only when it comes to the Blu-ray disc that there's a great new full feature length documentary, there's also a great interview between William Freak and the director of The Exorcist and Toby Hooper. One of these featurettes, I'm not even making this up, there is a blooper reel. And it is great. All in all, what we have here is one of the greatest horror films ever made with great video quality, fantastic audio quality, and with a myriad of terrific special feature at Sky. So simply put, if you haven't seen the Texas Chainsaw Massacre yet, just stop what you're doing right now and once the chance pre-order this. Whether it's the beautiful Steelbook edition or the one with the slip cover, nonetheless, guys, what you're getting here is a phenomenal film. Oh, and by the way, guys, in case if you're wondering where I got this awesome The Guest t-shirt at, you can find this shirt and a plethora of other horror-themed t-shirts at CavityColors.com, which is this brilliant horror-themed apparel shirt set where you can find a myriad of horror film-based shirts out there. Just to give you guys a couple of ideas on the shirts they have there, they have shirts on Alien, Child's Play, Carrie, Evil Dead, Your Next, The Thing, if I remember correctly, I saw The Silence of the Lambs, and, well, you guessed it, The Guest. Unfortunately, you can't see it because the title is right below there. If you guys want your own The Guest t-shirt or one of the myriad of horror t-shirts that have available, go to CavityColors.com, buy one of the shirts, and tell Flick Direct that they sent y'all. I hope you all enjoyed my 4K review of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. If so, please hit that like button, also share, and don't forget the subscribe button and the notification bell for our latest 4K review goes live. If you guys want to see any of our previous two 4K reviews, please click on the right there or right there, and of course, whenever our next 4K review goes live, we'll see you guys next time. Have a wonderful day, guys. Hit like, smash subscribe, and get notified for whenever reviews, interviews, and news go live.